Here at Pivot's Free Game alongside manager Marcus McKimmy as we preview game two of the series with the Wenatchee Apple Sox. 5-4 win for the team last night. A little bit tougher than expected maybe at the end. I know they made the late rally, but overall a, a pretty complete performance. You get the quality start from Dollar, clutch hitting, a couple more long balls. Just talk about what you saw from the team, how impressed you were coming out of the All-Star break. Yeah, just uh, opportunities for guys that, that uh, needed to be ready to go that weren't All-Stars. I mean, we, I think... Four of the five position guys, uh, you know, didn't didn't play, uh, and and obviously Connor, who started the night before, you know, we didn't use him in a in a safe situation, which uh, you know normally would be his role. So really good to see that um, exactly what we already knew as a coaching staff that the players could now see in the moment that you know we we trust our depth, we we really like uh, the fact that we have strength in numbers, and that has to be. A, a backbone of our team going forward to uh, make a playoff run here. Yeah, I, th I think another thing looking at, you talk about strength and numbers, the power surge of this team, 12 different guys now hit a home run with Dustin Yates hitting the two-run shot in the second inning. Obviously, Denny was seven to lead the group, but uh, so many different guys top to bottom, not only home runs, but producing. Just talk about the production you've gotten from so many different guys in the order. Yeah, we've 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 got a, an offensive lineup that can create offense different ways. The thing about, you know, most home runs is, you know, you, you square it up. Uh, with, with some velocity on the mound and and line drives take care of themselves and I mean the the one Yates hit was just a good approach the other way that uh, you know w benefited from from the park dynamics but the ball Denny hit was 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 just a just a line drive man that, that he was on time with that a uh, physical guy like him you know that uh, good good things happen when when you have good approaches to to a scattering report and and for us as an offense uh, to answer your question I think we've done a really good job of that with some really good pitching throughout the league this summer. A very good start last night from Taylor Dollard. Five wins for him now in five appearances. Pretty impressive. And on the mound tonight, it's going to be A.J. Landis. He was pretty good his last time out in Bellingham. I know he gave up a couple home runs, but I think only two runs, two earned runs overall, seven hits, kind of managed uh, the job. Gave you guys a chance to win that game. I know you came up a little short, but uh, just talk about him now. Eighth start. First time I think he's seeing Wenatchee, but uh, what can he do to kind of put improve upon even what Taylor Dollar was able to do last night against this very good Wenatchee team? Well, Taylor Taylor had the changeup going all game long. I mean, that was plus all day. Uh, uh, he's able to pitch backwards, and, and AJ, AJ's still learning how to pitch. I mean, you know, he's 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 made some really good strides this summer, but but avoiding you know really good contact and and getting deep in the game and and putting up zeros early is still something that uh, you know we're we're really focusing on with him. And and I know that he's a, he's a tireless worker and he wants to be good. So you know, seeing seeing him go through the steps and and sometimes. With with great adversity comes really great reward, and and for him, he's he's a grinder, and and I've told you this on pregame several times that we're we're very excited that he's in in the Pippin Green, and I uh, expect a big start out of him tonight. Well, coming off a one-run win last night, Pippin's chance to win two straight for the first time since June the 29th when they swept Ben and had won five in a row. Game two of the series tonight at 7:05.